us on to some other issues. The, the, this question of deficits and, uh, and borrowing is really at the centre of the political argument at the moment, because uh, on the Labour side, and certainly on my side, uh, which has been different from Labour's side, <laughs> uh, it, uh, I'd say increase borrowing and the deficit to spend and to boost the economy back to growth, which is the only way of paying off debt. Uh, the government says, oh, the deficit is horrifying, uh, debt is enormous, uh, our regions will be affected, uh, and the country will collapse unless we put the first priority on paying off, reducing the deficit and paying off debt uh, by cutting everything. Now, those are two sharply opposed arguments which depend on the definition and the scale of the deficit. So these figures are, uh, are, are crucial, and here you are fiddling with the deficit and saying, well, it doesn't matter. No, I mean, uh, yes. I'm, not, I'm not doing any fiddling. I can assure, well, you're I can assure you, I'm really not. It's I'm not, going up and down. I'm, depending depending on what, what I am saying changes. is, I mean, and I know it's frustrating, is there, that there are different ways of analysing different liabilities. And, well, tell, uh, tell us how much of a deficit is uh, due to the tax of misery and, uh, and austerity. In other words, the fall in receipts because of the recession and the increase in spending because of the benefits necessary to pay for unemployment. How much of the deficit is actually due to that? I, I, I don't, don't have the figures. And, um, and actually, it's quite a contentious um, value judgment you're making. And as an official, I try and avoid, um, <laughs> avoid getting into that territory. Well, you're very good at But that's, that's saying the Treasury is... Uh, Decisions are not, uh, no, I mean, the, the treasury, not political judgments, but ethereal dictates. Um, no, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. There is a trade off in economic policy, and at any point in time, the Treasury will be advising ministers about the balance of risks. And, um, you know, of course, um, when you consolidate, it may have a short term macroeconomic sort of consequence. But equally, not consolidating may have a consequence. And I think, you know, in one sense, Britain's debt um, uh, in, the, in the recent past hasn't been that high by historical standards. The worry was the extraordinary rate at which that debt uh, was expanding. I mean, you know, I, again, I don't want to get into party political points, but the fact was. Um, that um, around about 2009, 2010, 2011, we were borrowing more money uh, than we had as a percentage of national income yeah, than we ever had done. We're saving the time. banks, spending it on useful purposes to keep the economy going. Um, absolutely. <laughs> um, but you, you just need to be, uh, if you're working in the Treasury, you've got to keep a continuing eye on the medium term because what you really don't want is the deficit to really start 